2016 Jeep Wrangler 3.6 liter fuel pump replacement a couple things you got to remove We didn't need to take this one off, but I did. Here's this one, the EVAP filler neck. Disconnected from this side, not the other side. The connector. A pressure sensor. Here's the filler neck. You gotta move the drive shaft out of the way. There's no room. Uh, it's got a steel bottom or plastic steel kind of thing coated see this bolt right here it stuck out so much that the fuel tank wouldn't come down so I had to move the lift over halfway and then I had to back that bolt out so I can think the fuel tank would come down it's really a pain in the ass this could disconnect the rear of the drive shaft. You don't have to take the front off. And then you got two lines in front. This one didn't want to come off. So I just left it and I kind of like let it go up. It's only plastic. Make sure you clean your surface where your seal goes. Lube it up a little bit very little with some grease of some sort there's a trim ring always use a brass chisel in case it wants a spark and light your ass up so pretty much that's it uh, the bearer of it was that bolt you gotta back it off it's kind of stupid just waiting for my fuel pump and I'll put it back together. It's pretty simple. This one had a uh, extended crank. Um, what it was doing is uh, it was leaking out the valve. That's one Camaro one I did the other day. It was leaking out the valve. So sometimes it would bleed down. And when it bled down, it was extended crank. So, showed good fuel pressure, but then it would uh, bleed down and then it wouldn't be primed. So without it being primed, it would crank, 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 crank until it got that prime again. Anyways, short video. It's got a bunch of bolts. That skid plate you gotta take off. Bunch of crap. Um, like eight bolts around the whole damn thing overkill but um, hope this helped somebody alright guys take your easy don't do this for a fucking living